Hello everyone, I am Kay and you are watching me play Trigger Happy Havoc Danganronpa today and well, uh, first things first, we should talk about what we found, right Taka? I'm sorry but I'm not going to do this voice every time he says that, seriously. I can't keep up with all the things he's saying. Right. So, Taka, anything to report? It's no use. Yeah, this is going to be the last time I do that. Seriously, that is fucking horrible. Mm -hmm. It was a night room on the third floor. And it had all kinds of gear. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Oh yeah, uh, speaking of anime, that reminds me, I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. A digital camera? That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well then, let's see it. What the heck? What the heck? This thing's like a kid's toy. Looks like it can store like five pictures maybe? It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well. On top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. Well, she's not strange. She's Princess Piggles from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. Oh, you recognize this here for me? Of course I recognize it! It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Wait, it's my camera! What? Damnation. Where did you find it? In the physics lab. It's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day, along with my phone. Let's see... Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However... <laughs> but look at it! It got all messed up. Like when someone steals a sticker from your connection, or you buy a second-hand shirt. <laughs> well, that's it. Huh? That's it? It's not mint condition, I don't need it anymore. But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are gonna need to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. Maybe... Did you check what is on the camera? I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows and the halls and, and the rooms... All the windows in the halls and the rooms were blocked off. I wish they had given us a rest already. For serious, give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> Just forget about it. Impossible. Make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. Just to be sure. I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. So in the end... It would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. So still no getting out of here, man. This is getting oh, fucked yes. up. <laughs> a long route to maiden her begins with a single step. A drought may begin with only wrinkly old men, but it will end with strapping young adorable boys. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> it doesn't answer his question, you know. Kyoko? It was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room there was a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? Eh? What's something like that doing here? Mm. Is the device really that big? Mm. I really don't get it. Oh. 
Thanks, Taka, for your contribution. So, um... Um... I wasn't able to make... to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be... It didn't happen to be a donut-related discovery, did it? What does that even mean? Never mind. It's about the nurse's office, remember? There's one on the first floor, right? Well. I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So. Did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamin supplements would be fine. Mm. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. And there's something in my throat. Hold on. <coughs> okay, that's better. I did look, but no dice. <laughs> Mercy. Mercy. That's disappointing. It is disappointing. Like the end of the world is already here. Uh, I'm not sure it's that disappointing. Okay, and now you. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Byakuya a little while ago. What? Where? Where was he? Uh, you're kind of scaring me. Where? was he? He was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no. So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> Should we stop her or something? You know, before she kills him? She just ran off. Is, is she okay? We should not concern ourselves with her. You sure that's a good idea? Could it be? Yeah, I totally screwed Byakuya over. I think Byakuya knew exactly what he was doing. He probably went to the boys' locker room specifically so she couldn't bother him. Well, you fucked that up big time. You have anything to say now? No. Did I leave anyone else? I think I... Aus. I left her out. There is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room up on the, up on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> Why should someone join me in the game of Othello sometime? Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say. So, now it's my turn. Hey, um... Can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently Monokuma took it. A weird picture? You mean like... dirty? Why did your mind just go there all of a sudden? Did you want to see a dirty pic, maybe? No, not that kind of weird. It was... A picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Wow. Uh, those three? And the three of them were... laughing. Oh. You the three of them together? Laughing? When could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well. Then... the picture wasn't taken here? But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to this school. You probably just imagined it. When Ikuma cast a spell on you. Yes, it was a fucking confused spell. Or maybe it was reflect. Maybe it was protect. Who knows? No, I saw it. I'm telling you. But if it was taken before we got here or after we got here... I bet they're all still alive. They left the school and then took that picture. Um, that right? that's impossible. After all, we saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko, and then there is... Sayaka. That wasn't an illusion. 
It was real. I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. So, we have to figure out when that picture was taken. Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right. But more importantly, <laughs> on another topic, there is something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Okay. What has been bothering? You seem a little carefree for now. There is also something that has been bothering me, which I would like to discuss. Well, what has been bothering you? What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually, It's about Ina. Why? Huh? What? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? Uh -huh. Man, she just called you out on your bullshit. <sighs> it varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It is called a tell. Or a whisper. When you tell me a secret. Something that you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Like that secret I pressed the wrong button. Whenever Ina lies, the, nose, uh, the tip of her nose gets just a little bit longer. So she's Pinocchio. Is that what you're saying? Uh, what? For real? Jeez, you have a stubby nose. You don't even have. You don't even look like you have a nose. <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Oh. <laughs> but your correct reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. You were bluffing. That's not fair! <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Ina. Ina, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Um... I might not have not lied about not having no stomach ache. Y yes I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? Are you feeling guilty about something? No, that's not it at all. But it's just... I mean... I have a reason for it. Man, don't get in my, all up on my back. A reason? What reason could you have to be lying about a stomach ache? To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because... Even if I came and told you the truth... I thought you wouldn't believe me. The truth? No. I saw it. The movie. It was pretty great. And then they made a remake. I haven't seen that yet. Saw so what? A ghost. A ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But, but, I mean, ghosts are... What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. Uh, it's not that I don't believe you, but it just sounds, you know, unbelievably stupid. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. So... Can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So um, so it happened last night. I was in a furious masturbation session when all of a sudden, I mean, I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up till now. Also, how I can just show my ass straight to the camera and my tits, because holy shit, those are great and I want everyone to see them. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up till now. I ended up just getting more upset, like how I couldn't show any more of my ass without it going up in the ratings. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Huh? Donut? 
Uh, wait, no. <laughs> I confused his name. Donuts again. Honestly. And you ignored the rule regarding nighttime. I know, sorry. I feel really bad about that. I feel really bad, bath and beyond. Yeah. Anyway, please continue. Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. What could that be? Well. It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse. So I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. And I saw the human shape. I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. It was Shihiro. That's not what he said. He said, Kia! No way! G -g 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 ghost Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. And all we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and saw what Hina saw. It is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. Uh, you're gonna go try and see a g g ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. You can wait here if you want. Uh, I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. What are you going to do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. How about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Are you gonna wait here? Dude, keep it down, man. Oh. Oh. I guess that's a yes. So, Hina? Uh, it was right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah, 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 Kefulu Fuftan. Shut up, what if he actually shows up? You know, where was it you saw Chihiro's ghost? Well, well, I heard a sound and when I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. So, the locker, the one that's open? Um, is this the locker? There was something in here. Huh? Inside the locker is... A laptop? What's something like that doing here? Is that the same laptop that was in the library? I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw it in the library before. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old. And it's all covered in dust. In dust. It's all covered in dust. <laughs> it's covered in dust. Uh, as far as I remember, it was broken. It wouldn't turn on, right? So. Yeah. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. Well, but then again, I did realize that a fucking laptop doesn't just run on hot air, right? You need power, electricity to run. It. What if its battery is dead? No turning on then. It's broken, huh? Too bad. But how did the laptop get from the library to here? What do you think? Let's see. Answer A. It flew here all by itself. Answer B. It teleported here all by itself. Answer C. Somebody took it here. Or answer D. <laughs> this is just gonna be, there is no answer D. And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Huh? But I thought it was broken. 
I would bet that Chihiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. You know, being the ultimate programmer doesn't necessarily mean that you can actually build a computer from scratch or something. Or just fix it. You'd need to be like an electrician or something for that. Then perhaps More importantly, Ina, you said you saw a green light, yes? That means you could go. But if the light was red, you could have you would have had to stop. Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost. Uh, I'm surprised you are able to dress yourself in the morning. Oh man, if I had the last Clunish Gorge attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. Well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? It's okay. I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Hmm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I'd spotted a grey alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. What Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? Jesus Christ, yeah, he might kill himself. Or think about that. But, listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing in here? And maybe someone hid it here. But if that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. They were trying to hide it from the U.S. government. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. There's a difference? There's... No surveillance camera. Yes, it's me. Precisely. There's no camera in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Oh, so if we want to have sexy times, we can come here. Ah, this is gone. Oh wait, never mind. He said what happens in our dorms doesn't concern him anyway. So we can just get a freak on in there. All oh, right, we can do all kind of nasty stuff in here. Mm. Yo. Mm. You're saying someone put the laptop here so the mastermind would know about it? It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro shining pale green. Well, I bet he just made his own picture as the, um, as the background. <laughs> I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. It's just like Kyoko said, the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So, then. so first of all, we have to wake it up. Okay, does someone have an alarm? Ugh. Okay, I'll do it myself. Okay, come on, laptop. Wake up! Wake up! Jesus, you've slept long enough. Wake up! It's no use. It doesn't wake up. Right. I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard. That's how you do. Alright, I have a keyboard right here. L let me just do what he does. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'm such a hack. <laughs> and the display instantly began to glow a pale green. See, I told you. It's his fucking desktop background, a picture of himself. There were a bunch of different icons on the, de on the desktop. Hey. There, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says... Alter Ego? Mm. Alter Ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of personality, of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer, so she didn't leave me a choice. Great. She moved the cursor over the alter ego icon, and when she double-clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark. Oh, great. Kyoko, you fucking broke it. Uh, you are horrible when it comes to electronics, aren't you? And then a voice spoke to us. You really came. Master, you're here. Chihiro's face appeared, taking up the entire display. 
It's a ghost. But and sweet baby Jesus, save me. Uh, those two kind of different. Calm down. Calm down. It's not a ghost. Uh huh? Um. Then. What is it? Anyway. I'm sure if we just talk to him, we'll find out. Kyoko began to type, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then. That's not true. <laughs> I always get so embarrassed introducing myself. The, that voice, the tone and everything. It's Chihiro. Alter Ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. He did say he was working on something like that. Like a true artificial intelligence? AI program? That's right. It's how Shihiro earned his title of Ultimate Programmer. By pressing the square button right in the middle of a... Fucking would you stop looking at your goddamn e-handbook while I'm talking to you! The AI lives in a computer and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently Chihizo used a sep support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Holy shit, who's the... Who's the Ultimate Programmer here? Was it Chihiro? What is it you? Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support? Vector machine? Reinforcement learning? It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to know more, just Google it, okay? Okay, let me just go and get my phone. Oh, wait, I don't have that. Okay, let me just get on the internet, on the laptop. Does it have internet? But if this AI continues to grow, it will become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like, IA, AI like this might someday replace people. Hmm. And that is why it is called Alter Ego. A fine choice, then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your alter ego. So it's kind of a child. I if you look at it that way, it's kind of like a kid. You, like, raise it. You teach it stuff. Okay, you don't... You probably don't feed it. You feed it information, that's about it. A second perfect personality that that can never forget a crowd up. Let me try that again. This time without stumbling <laughs> over my own words. A second perfect personality... Personality... Why can I not say personality? I can never forget a grow old. That's what Shiro created. Fuck it, I'm... <laughs> That's alter ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Anyway, so he fixed this, the broken laptop and put his own program on there. That is what this means, yes? Then he brought the machine to his to this dressing room, where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> but you know, all this about master and whatnot. Yes, yes. I, I believe I'm on fire. I thought you were only into 2D. This is the most excellent to be possible! But uh, he's a guy, and also a computer program. So, oh, that aspect is no problem. I mean, that aspect? Yeah, I mean, you know, traps are not gay. Or are they? Hmm. Anyway, let's talk to him a little more. Kyoko typed away rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? I was reading that like uh, like she would type it. Master only gave me a general idea. But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? 
Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well... He wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on his laptop. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So, it's taking you a little longer than I thought. But, here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly, tightly means they must contain some important secret. For example, perhaps... The secret of the school. Dun. While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything is unlocked? Um, it's gonna be a while. But I'm definitely gonna do it, so you can just leave it to me. So because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It also means that the work remains uninterrupted even after he's dead. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice, it. notice you. Don't worry. I've got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam. Webcam, so if anyone suspicious shows up, I'll just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Well, sometimes basic is the best. Yes, that is fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Huh? Why? Well, because your rooms are all soundproof, and no matter how loud he sh 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 screams, that's scream and shout at the same time. We won't be able to hear it. I wanted to read that, even if I already said, "Have you forgotten? All our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, it can scream as loud as he wants, but we won't hear a thing." Okay, then. How about once it's night time, we each take turns guarding the dressing room. There's a good chance the mastermind would notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then, what can we do? Once so night time comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. And there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But, uh, but if you leave your door open all night, then... It's true. There's a chance I may become a victim myself, I know. However. But I'm not as weak as you may think. Well, that won't help you if you're being surprised in your sleep, you know that. I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. There was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. Her confidence was somewhat similar to Byakuya's tone, but at the same time different. Yeah, it had an entirely different feel for sure. Like, someone who'd been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who'd been born on a battlefield. I felt like that was the fundamental difference. So who's who in that equation? I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. No, um, um, would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um, I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I found it was him, but... Is Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do. But she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, direct. Chihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive the situation were very low. So, I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel like... kinda sorry for her. Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. But... Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. 
And then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye bye. The AI seemed totally different from when we'd first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following his programming, or could he have actually been worried about us? Could it be? Um. What's wrong, Hero? You know? Uh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we could call for help for help from the outside. But it's just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well? Well, if we take it out of here and find someone that does have online access. <laughs> That's way too dangerous. The mastermind would find out in no time. Uh, um, oh, yeah, true. Indeed. This is no time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So, should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll be back. I promise. Oh, you dicko, you make it better. <laughs> ah, delicious. Come on, Ifumi, let's go. Bye. Uh, okay. And we all left the dressing room. As soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? And as if he'd been waiting for his cue... Hold on, I have to I have to stand up for <laughs> this guy's voice. Hold on, I can't do it while sitting. Okay, let's see. Dun, da, da, dun. He now has gained enough experience to level up. What's the matter? So, when was this off some something? B Monokuma. What the heck? You guys all seem in remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? N no, nothing in particular. Oh, keeping secrets? No fair! I demand an exclusive interview! Denied! Denied! Super denied! Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it! Do it? You mean like, do it? Do it? <sighs> Seriously, he just needs the creepy breathing. Uh, wait, uh, what? What do you mean? Do it. Do it. Yes. Ew. Gross. You said do it. What? You said it first. <laughs> we were just talking about going to see Bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? Yeah? <sighs> but... Unfortunately, the Bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> So we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. Ina won the match for us, and that is why we were all so pleased. Huh? Uh, yeah, that's right. Speaking of which... Okay, boys. Why don't you head on back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Ah, hey, oh, jeez. What are you gonna do, right? We lost fair and square. <laughs> well, ladies. Shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with the ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. Well, she is the ultimate gamer. Or gambler, something like that. So, she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh. Uh, um, damn it, we totally lost. Never day without getting to make... to take my very first bath here. Uh, um. uh, yeah, but... Uh, tomorrow for sure. You'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so, should we head back to the dining hall now? Hold on! Something strange here. Very strange. Strange? What do you mean? What's strange is, it's just the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. Huh? That's... 
You're absolutely right! What, you were only into 2D? You said that just a second ago, right? I thought you were all about the 2D. Well, if you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. I was forced to ask myself. Should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monokuma said, or just go quietly back to the dining hall? No, I can't do it. I can't treat the girls like that. Let's just head back to the dining hall. <laughs> what? But what about your man's fantasy? I'm not sure a real man's fantasy should be about spying on girls and stuff. It should be more about your hopes or your dreams of adventure or whatever. But anyway, I'm not gonna spy on them. I see. I can't even describe my bitter disappointment. That Primo's fan service could have been yours. We headed back to the dining hall, leaving Monokuma standing there alone. But, to be honest, even I was a little reluctant to turn down the offer. No, just no, that's horrible. Fantasy, fantasy, my fantasy. So, I guess you dig the real thing just like any other guy, huh? The only reason I care is because it's a good reference for creating figurines. A real life woman is useless to me, but looking at their naked form might be okay. Maybe. No way. If the girls heard you say that, we'd all be dead meat for sure. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy voices growing lo louder. I mean the buzzing? Bzzz, bzzz, that's not voices. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. Well, I guess that's... Hmm. Guess that means we missed our fans at f our chance at fan service. Oh man, so this bad. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. Indeed. Indeed. Of course. Normally, after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee. But <laughs> sorry, no time for that. So in the end. That's what I figured. Huh? Huh? We were just saying in the bath how it was about time for you to get up to something. Because After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. You're all so terrible to me. Everyone's so cold and mean. After after I got presents for you all. Presents? Is this another motive? Hmm? Oh, have I got your attention? <laughs> then let's head to the gym while your presents await. No questions, no dilly dallying. Get a move on, everything will become clear. What is this? What are you scheming this time? It's probably going to repeat the same thing again. Providing us with a motive to get things moving. Again? I don't want you. I don't want you to do this anymore. Uh, Me either. I'm like totally traumatized. However, it's okay. We have alter ego. I'm sure we he'll find something that'll help us. So for now, correct. We have to just endure it. Come what may. With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym. But when we arrived. There was already someone waiting for us. What? To be kept waiting by the likes of you. Was the short if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Byakuya, did you get here early? Did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot. Right foot. <laughs> <laughs> the same as always, I see. Err on the other end. Oh, she's back to a Debbie down herself, huh? Hmm. I heard what sounded like a sneeze and she was back to her old self. Huh? So now she goes from maniac to depressive whenever she sneezes? Seems kinda late to add that into the mix. <laughs> Why does this, uh, everyone keep making fun of me? 
I hope you all win the l l lottery and get hit by a b b bus. Now, wouldn't that be ironic? You know, win the lottery, die the next day. So, so when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Well. Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means... A stupid bear is gonna show himself as well. Ain't that right, Monokuma? It looks like everyone's here, so then, let's get started! What? Come on, out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? However. Whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Yeah, that's right. We're not gonna lose to you ever again. Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't have to get so defensive. Calm down! <coughs> <coughs> it actually hurt for some reason. I've decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. But sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. <laughs> Without further ado, I give you... this! Okay, what is this? Are you serious? This graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. Oh, so now you are hoping someone will be capitalistic enough to be like, Whoop, I need money. It's ten million bucks. Ten million smackaroos. It's like totally wowie wow wow, am I right? So that's the motive you've prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is... It's not nearly enough. So... You are... You can be bought, but your price is higher, huh? It's true. When it comes to motives, money certainly has the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. But... But... There's no way we'd kill each other for money. She's right. You can't simply purchase a person's life. Uh, um, you can say 10 million or however much. I don't give a crap for serious. <laughs> yeah, they're all right. Whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. Come on, stop trying to act tough. The most important thing is to live a pure and moral communal life. Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage along with the mus massive sum of money. Um. Uh, there's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? <laughs> if you've so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time, you can't judge others by your own standard. <laughs> yeah, there might be someone here who's having m money problems. Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. Well, you can't get to that from here, right? Uh, Ifumi, what about you? I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough money to, in a, to make... <laughs> what the hell is just going on? I can't read anymore. I don't have any problem making enough to buy my comic and DVD. Yeah. Then... Hey. Stop. Pressing others about their personal finances is... Ugly. Uh, 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 ugly? <laughs> don't worry. Either way, whatever's going to happen will happen without warning. That is the nature of this game. Well, I guess it's night time already, eh? <laughs> this is a school announcement. It is, it is now 10pm! 
As such, it is officially my time. He doesn't say it that fast. He doesn't say it that fucking fast. He does to the hiney. To the hiney? I'm not gonna try to speak along because I can't read anyway. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bad box bite. It's that time already, huh? Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my door room door open to make sure nothing happens to alter ego. But just because my door is open, don't assume that will make me an easy target. Because or the predator might suddenly find itself the prey. Her voice was calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. You know? Okay, okay, let's everyone just head back to our rooms. And don't think about that home money thing, got it? Good, then let's break. Mm. How was that? Pretty good, right, Tucker? Mm. Right. As soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money. There's no way that's gonna get anyone to kill anyone else. I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having our secrets revealed. Which reminds me, you did not reveal your secret yet. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a, mur a murder can still happen. It's like Byakuya said, don't judge other people by your own standards. That's the lesson we learned. But this time... This time is different. I'm sure of it. Because of the program Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego, we finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure... Monokuma Theater! I love these! Oh, it's a cute little doll. Little kids have it so easy! Because they can put Lil in front of their name, and right after that, everyone thinks they're cute! You mean like, little Pump? Or Lil Wayne? Well, fine then. I want everyone to start calling me Lil Monokuma. I'm also going to make my first rap album. See? Just by adding that, my cuteness goes up by at least 10%, right? Yeah. The world doesn't have nearly enough Lils. More Lils would lead to the salvation of the world. Just imagine. Lil arsonist. Little war criminal, little destruction of the environment, little hit and run, little death tax, little great depression. It wasn't very bright. Editing ding ding, ding ding, <laughs> expand ding ding, ding dong, bing bong. Ah, good morning. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Mr. Freeman, rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Well then, I guess I should head to the dining hall. Okay, let's do that. Hey, uh, you're up early. Oh wait, never mind, we're all up. Good morning, Sakura. I was wrapped in her voice. Did you just wake up? Uh, yeah. Waking up for a breakfast meeting is fine, of course, but getting up a little early is better. You can exercise in your room till nighttime ends. A big meal after working up a sweat is divine. Well, I feel like not everyone is the same in that regard. Hey, Makoto. Hey, morning, Makoto. Good morning. You're kind of sweaty. Have you been exercising? Yep, me and Sakura were doing our morning workout. Oh, but it didn't break our nighttime progress. I just ran around my room till it ended. Why don't you come with us next time? I don't think I could keep up with you and Sakura. Huh? Oh, seriously? Uh. Okay, then we can do something in the rec room. I'm not good at much, but I do know how to play Otello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at that either, though. 
I don't like to think when I'm playing, so... I don't even know the rules of Otello. Seriously, I don't get him. Also, you're smelly, let's take a shower together. <laughs> so, the people here today... Not the same as just... yesterday. Yesterday. All those troubles seemed so far away. Just as seven. Byaki and Toku are a lost cause, but... It looked like Taka decided to cup to stop coming for good too. It's like he's just given up. For people want to start his ears. When you snap, you snap out. I wish there was some way to make him better. Mm. On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go alright last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either, but... Kyoko seemed to hesitate, but... It's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. I have to make a new rule. Using alter ego without permission is prohibited. I didn't read the last one, I skipped... Uh, someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. And then, Celestius, I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Wow. That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? Oh. Oh. No, it's just, like you said, we all need to be very careful. <laughs> huh? Whatever, let's just hurry up and eat. We don't have time to stand around flapping our lips. Jeez, why are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? We ate breakfast in a rush, then headed back to our rooms. And it's finally... What should I do today? Free time! Well, seriously, these chapters are fucking long. It's like one hour per chap... Per little thing, not even for the chapter. Anyway, it's about time to end this episode. If you want to see more cold-blooded murder in this killing game, then subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next episode. And if you want to hear my soothing voice some more, check out some of the other videos on my channel. God, that was just creepy. I'm sorry. Anyway, have a nice day. Bye-bye.